Hey guys, Malkuth 1974 coming back at you with another episode of Horizon, the Forex game that I've been playing for a little bit now. So, I actually ended up playing just a little bit because I wanted to get a little bit farther into the game without looking like I was a total newbie, even though I am a total newbie at this game. And I think I've run into my f one, one of my first problems here. Now, the Kentari Republic. I am totally, totally losing the war against them. I cannot even defeat one of their ships. But now, he's coming up. I, unless this is, I'm not understanding the wording here. But I decided to start the, the episode here anyway. The Kentari Republic offers a five percent tribute to the Great Earth Alliance in an effort to improve relations. <clears throat> now listen to this. The Kentari Republic is the most powerful nation or empire in the game I do believe and now they're offering me 5% tribute when I can't even defeat one of their ships whatever so I'm gonna agree to it so yeah I am definitely getting a 5% I need to look into this what the hell is going on okay so we got some other things to cover here we'll get into this later I've been doing some uh, research so in my effort, so this is the Qatari Republic right here. Remember this place? Okay, so if we look at the races, uh, I am still at war with them. I'm at I'm at war with the the gargles, but the uh, the gargales or whatever they're called. But we do have an armistice with them. I've never seen these guys that I'm at war with, and I think that's it. And I can't. I still can't communicate. I'm getting a lot of uh, people tell me, well, you need to communicate. Well, the only two people I can communicate with are the two people I'm at war with. All the other ones are out of range right now, so I can't communicate with them. I don't know if that's intended, but it seems like if you can't communicate with them, they start to hate you. But, I mean, it's kind of a oxymoron now when you can't actually communicate with them. But anyway, so what I've been doing is I have been making a new fleet based on uh, cruisers and frigates in a hope that it's going to be enough to push these guys back but unfortunately tech wise they are much much more powerful uh, somebody told me one of my uh, uh, watchers said that uh, when you have a planet that has uh, alien technology or an any kind of artifact on it the way that you get that is that you uh, click on a fleet that's in uh, your area in that area you click the dig button and then you can click on the planet and I did that and then the very next turn I got uh, I got that organic technology I'll show you where it is like the organic power uh, generator that's what I got for uh, doing that so that's that. I've been also putting a lot of stuff into uh, construction, trying to get my laser uh, weapons up, nuclear missiles, uh, heavy slug rifle. These are for a ground invasion. I did end up getting my construction stuff up a tad. I don't know why it says I'm still at, a, at one. Maybe I should go back into there. There. So now I got three turns, and I'll get all this new stuff. Probably will help me, because right now... It takes something like 10 turns just to build one cruiser. And I have no idea if these cruisers will do anything. I did start building a shipyard to see if what that will do. If that might, I think that only allows you to make the big ships. So, so that's where we are. I'm just trying to build a fleet to uh, take these guys out. I got more interstellar, interstellar comm, heavy slug rifle. See how that now it says the dig is been done over there all right so these guys are cool oh and so another thing is say you uh, you get new technology that uh, new technology and a ship the only way to upgrade your ships I believe is if they have a either the shipyards or the um, the star base you got to be in orbit of the other vest of, of the planet that with the, the fleet so all these fleets are still kind of old 
So I want to see if I can move them over just to get them upgraded. And I want this cruiser to uh, go here anyway because we don't need it. Uh, I tried to colonize out here but these guys are pretty much sucking everything up. Um, at this point in the game, I think I pretty much lost it, but I'm just going to keep going just in case. Uh, it means not pretty bad. I, I, really, I haven't, I've haven't. i been trying to stay away from the forums to find out how to uh, uh, do this, but when I was reading the forums when I first started this game, the AI in this game is supposed to be so easy that a child can beat it, so I guess I don't have a very good child mentality, I guess. I'm getting my ass kicked. The thing I have noticed is that they are not attacking me directly. They're not like sending their own invasion fleets at me, so I don't know if that's something that's not in the game yet or what. But they do put up defenses, I can tell you that. I mean, I, I wouldn't call them the greatest defenses in the world, but compared to my ships, they're quite up there. But we're getting ready up there to try out this new uh, attack. And uh, bioenergy armor absorbs damage from energy weapons leaving the ship hull. I didn't even know I, I have that now. Interesting. You got a, a new type 2 cruiser. So my fleet is growing which is good. I only have room for one more vessel in here and then we can uh, do our thing. Let me look at what, what that is. Where is that? Bioenergy armor. Interesting. Alright, I got one turn on all these and then I'm going to try to get some of that. All my old ships won't be able to have it, I don't think, but we'll see what happens. Oh! Bioenergy armor absorbs damage from energy weapons leaving the ship. Oh, yeah, we already did that. Damage of... Wow, that's pretty good. It's better than my uh, boarding, defense, life support systems, robotics. Yeah, all this stuff I needed. Uh, I got tanks now. Uh, battle landers, air fighters, air bombers, hovercraft. Totally awesome. Alright. So we'll put this guy in the invasion. That's 10 ships now. And we'll order all of these, uh, all these bungholes to orbit Earth for they can get upgraded. This attack freight can. Uh, where's my other fleet? Oh, I have a nine. There it is. Uh, money wise, how am I doing? Let me make sure. I've been doing a lot of. 56. I'm still doing good in that, I think. So, invasion fleet is ready. Orders. This is technically a test fleet. It's not really meant to. They don't have troops at all. Uh, the troops are on this fleet. So if this fleet wins, I'm going to end up sending this other fleet over to uh, do some bodily harm to them. So if we get these guys, I can get them ready at least. There we go. So you know what I'm thinking? That I just want to put all these fleets together. go. I'm thinking we're good. Or we're not. One or the other. Uh, industry. Alright, I need to go back into my techs and see. Alright. Do we need to do some... If I go back into armor, what would it take? Okay, so I can get combat suits. It'll take five turns to get some more of that. And then we'll make some more ships. So the colonizer is fine. I can order this guy to colonize. I know it's only a baron, but screw it. Oh, can't do it. Oh, that sucks. 
What the hell can I? Well, it might as well move back to Earth, I guess. I really don't have any other planets I can colonize. I did colonize. What was that place I colonized? There's a second place I colonized. I almost thought it was here. Ah, oh, yeah. Get this up. Oh, let's see here. Trying to remember to keep up with everything is a pain in the butt. No, like planetary call uh, governors or anything like that. So you are crap out of luck when it comes to this stuff. But there, I, I don't, I don't know if there's any uh, non-point to upgrading this stuff on everything. Or I mean, it seems like it helps you out a lot. You can tell my fleets are moving just a tad quicker now. Any matter engines, yes. It's like Ender's fleet. We're sending, we're sending the first fleet first, and then we're gonna send the other fleets first, and they'll get there before the first fleet. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we'll have the magnificent child prodigy Ender to uh, help destroy the evil empire that has been attacking our planet. Oh wait, that's a whole different book. Okay. uh... I really don't think there's any point to hanging around here. Let's see if I get them back to Earth. Oh, there she is. And our top story today. Now you see, I still have the third best fleet in the in the thing, but the the Katari like outnumber me to three to one, almost three point five to one actually. So and they have better ships. <laughs> so let's go. Let's try to figure that one out, huh? Think, can I actually? I can. Oh, let's let's colonize Pluto. There we go. So these guys are still on their way. Wow, is that what Pluto looks like? It looks like the Antarctic. I don't think it has an atmosphere, guys. I haven't installed any of these cloaking device, devices either, e e either, but you get a defense bonus with uh, at 32% with cloak, uh, but that's only when the cloak is on. You when I, What I've read is that once you fire it, you lose that bonus, so once you start firing weapons, so. What's this? Interesting. Alright, I need to... What do I have building over here? I think I need to stop. No more ships for right now. How come these guys are blacked out? Weird. Maybe they're getting upgraded? Alright, let's mix this fleet. Mix this fleet. Mix this fleet. Do -do. I'm just trying to. Con Convert most of my. Wait. 
Does he have a fleet in my, uh... That's him, right? No, that's Kotaz. That's Kor... What the hell's he doing down here? Where is he? I don't see him. Can I communicate with anybody? Communicate. Oh! Hi! Hi, we're friendly! Hey, dude! You look like a poop. Anyway, uh... T -t 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 uh, can we propose a treaty? Non-aggressive. Open territory to merchant ships. We would only agree to such men as we give us 5% tribute. I don't know the math on this. I would probably say, sorry. Uh, make an offer. Offer. What if that would make them happy? I don't know what any of this stuff does. Pose a treaty. Non aggression pack. As long as the human race does not threaten any of our colonies, then we will not attack any of your ships. Yay! We have friends! What about the barbecue people? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, no. No, you don't like us. Uh, what about you? Can we finally do something with you? Like, uh, peace treaty? We refuse! It's like the North Korea and freaking South Korea thing here. We are at war, but we're not really at war. Uh, I'll end you. I'll end you. I'll figure this crap out. You know, I'll figure this game out. And uh, once I get these guys pushed out of here, I'll start pushing your ass out of here. And we'll see how it goes then, huh? Huh? All right, next turn. What's going on here? Where are these guys going? Stop it. You're bothering me over here. Wow. Ooh, look at my shipyard. Is it built yet? I doubt it. It looks pretty cool. It's like Star Trek. Star Trekking across. Uh oh, that's not good. Who's here? Who? Oh, okay. All right. Hardened titanium plating provides the strongest armor. Yay! Damage absorption 35. Specially designed combat suit. All right. So I need to get into them back to my tech get this off there oh I do have wait 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 oh it says one turn propulsion nuclear engines uh, turns turns takes 93 uh, weapons uh, biotech let's do some biotech there we go all right, so it looks like next turn will be next turn will be in le la layer 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 layer. We'll see how well this fleet does against these guys. It might not turn out well for us. Let me uh, do a save here. Yeah, save that. That's right. Save it. Save it. All right, turn. Here we go. Or not. All right, bio engine 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 and 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 energy. Stealth device. Awesome. So let's take a look see here. First, are they not there or are they there and there's I'm so confused in Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, I always get off track. Okay. Design. My attack frigate. No 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 no. Type 2 cruiser. That does have fighter bays. What does he have? Titanium armor. I want bio energy armor, baby. Wouldn't that suck if those people didn't have uh, those kinds of weapons? Yes, it would. So I only have laser cannons. A hailing bio scanner, nuclear engines. Oh, we want to change that to antimatter engines. Nuclear power, organic power, life support, defensive systems, uh, targeting systems. Alright, so how do I put stealth device on here? You don't. Gives you a minus 20. Interesting. Uh, forward-facing 
<sighs> this is a this is a this is a huggy dory for you. All right, so got rid of one fighter bay because I have no idea how those will work out anyway. Maybe I can install my uh, laser cannons again. Gives me a space of three, three, and maybe we can. There, two, one. We can name this sucker Type 3 Cruiser. I'm very imaginative with my names, aren't I? Alright, so let's go to the attack frigate. He has to have the ground troopers. Uh, titanium, we want bioenergy. We want antimatter. We want organic power generation. That doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Uh, laser cannons. We can crap these down by one. Because I do want to try the stealth device. Bam! One heavy, one light. I think I'm liking this. Attack friggin'. Attack friggin'. I don't have a room. Attack frigate two there. Yeah, yeah, developers, give us more room to type in some names. All right, so save. And I probably should update my Star Fury. Blah 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 blah. Bio energy, antimatter, organic. I have zero space. They won't have any shields or anything like that. Oh, let's see. Light weapons, yes. So really we didn't do all that much to them. And we will call this Star Fury... Three! Return. Return. Alright, so next turn we should have an attack there. I um, think he's... Can you... Let me see. Let me see here. Flip this to the ship. There's no retrofit. There's only scrap. Okay. So I would either have to dump those or send them on to be destroyed in a battle somewhere. That could be done. I can do that. Alright, so they're over this fleet right now. Orders. Orders. Orbit. There. I like me now. <sighs> Next turn. Here we go. Hey, where is this? This is me. I don't see any, uh... This is my planet. This is Earth. Get the invasion fleet there. Holy crap, they've, uh... They have no defenses. Oh! I don't understand. I completely and utterly do not understand what just happened there. Other than I just lost all my ships. What the hell ever. That was Earth I was over. Was what? <sighs> Game is either buggy or it's just irritating the hell out of me. How am I out of... Why does it look like Earth? That's weird. Yeah. 
Does he have no sensors? Whatever. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't understand why it jumps to planets that have no... So that didn't even work. I just really nothing I can do to these people. There is absolutely zero I can do to win in a battle in this game. I have no freaking idea. Now I'm getting frustrated. Now I'm just getting frustrated. Anybody knows how to beat anything in this game? You just you know, give me a, give me a yell here before you know if I keep wasting my time trying to blow up ships in this game. I don't understand. At this point, I really don't care. The fun factor is running out. Unfortunately. But I can make the new Type 3 cruisers, I guess. They only take four turns, which is cool. So four... And then the new will be six of these frigates. That'll be the new fleet. And I will see if I can upgrade anything here. It's not looking like I can. Guess I'm gonna have to go on the forums. I mean, the game's not all that popular yet, so it's not like there's thousands of people doing a, uh, you know, that are better at this kind of stuff than I am that are doing this stuff so there's not a whole lot of uh, strategy out there yet like I said one of the only strategies I read was build the bigger ships <laughs> it's like okay I mean I'm getting my technology up maybe I'm going faster maybe it's just, just gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna have to sit around and uh, tech up for 500 turns to get ahead of the game but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case because they have well they really don't have much more than I do I mean I'm right clogged together right here and they're they're not let me see here do I have statistics and I can't read it because for some reason it is covering for some reason it's all jarred up here I don't quite the legend in uh, I can a little bit see it looks like I'm fourth in pretty much everything A fleet score. I don't know, I can't read it, so I have no idea. Whatever. Let's see if I can get this thing to work this time. Invade. And it's defended, so I can't do anything with it. Whatever. Nanobodies! Interesting. Two colonizers. 
And I really don't have anything I can colonize. What is that? Wow, he's got some good planets down there. Okie dokie, have fun with that. Well, I got my new uh, attack frigate built. Interesting. That fleet, that fleet. I am moving down. All right, let me uh, check out my text here. Am I in biotech right now? Yes. Still trying to get that up. I got nanobodies, one turn. Alright. There we go. All done. Alright. Alright. Well, you guys are gonna have to wait till the next series to see how bad my invasion fleet goes out. I mean, it's so bad, they, they don't even consider me a threat, it's so bad that they're not even attacking that fleet that's stationed in their orbit, which is pretty sad. So, until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Malkuth out.